again. My name is Claire Pullman. I'm a freshman. My name is Rebecca Snowden, still a junior. My name is Maria Miller, and I'm a sophomore. And I'm Lily Yates, and I'm also a sophomore. And we go to Scut Catholic. I love you. <laughs> and this poem is titled Choke. Each night as I fall asleep, each morning as I drag myself awake, it's always the same. Conversations that could have been and that already were jumble my thoughts until I can't tell what I'm speaking aloud anymore. And I'm just hoping one of these days I'll be able to script out an encounter perfectly the first time. Roping in actors who never knew they were on script to begin with. Hi. Hi. No, no, never mind. Hello. No, no wait, wait, sorry. Let's, let's start, start that, that again. again. Weight of the world in the first word I say. My mind has become a raven Hi. circling around the shiny How piles of words found at the base of really? my throat, trying to force That's all of them up nice. at once in some form of order, tripping up my own tongue. I should probably take a breath, but there's so much that needs to be said. You know that if you stop now, your voice will be clogged for hours to come. That backlog of words you want to reel back in like elusive fish. Swallowing, Swallowing your words hurts nothing. Swallowing my words hurts everything. In the sixth grade, it should have been easy to counteract a bully's quips with my own bombardment of words, but instead, I, I sat there as she called me fat. Any, any possible comebacks tangling, tangling themselves in a knot in my throat like loose kite strings, they didn't come undone until I had found somewhere to cry. It was the first time I learned what my own words tasted like when I forced them down. Why else would I try to script these encounters out like poetry? Placing those right words at the right time in the right order with the right rhythm to create something I have no problem casting out into the world. I just don't want to say anything I'll regret. To a friend, to family, to anyone I'll ever meet now who might see me once again. And knowing that, this poem I have been building is gone. I ramble, I tumble, there's no point to the words I say, and soon I am trying to cram all of them back into the hollow of my throat. A retracted hey collides with a how are you? Hey, are Good you? Good luck, Mrs. Break a leg. Break a leg. And I am just trying to keep my head above water while keeping this traffic jam of fishing lines and kite strings untangled in my throat, pushing them until their lines snap with no way to reel back anything I say anymore. I don't know how to tell you. My, my lungs are full of water, my, my words, words are full of trying, and I've been tossing out sentences as grappling hooks trying to find something to grab onto. I have never wanted to swallow my words so badly, but I can't keep forcing them down. I can't keep tasting this salt water and defeat rise up in my throat. I have begun trying to let conversations happen as they will, letting go of kite strings to knot themselves in trees and letting fishing poles sink down deep in the riverbed. I, I have, have not lost that worry, have, have not shaken that feeling of regret as something is cast out, but at least I am trying to leave it there. I, I wish that someday I could let every last word come leaping out of my throat without worrying about what could snag my line. I, I wish I could pry open my jaws, cast out that first sound, first sentence, and talk to you. And, and never, never 